little bit of algebra. Yeah, I'm rolling on algebra. I can do algebra. Yeah. Ooch. Not you as well. Oh. Uh, oh, not you as well, says Mr. Guy. The Valatogan specifically said... I get it. Snaps number at her. Please, let me concentrate. All right, then. So 4y plus 9 equals 57. Do you know how to do it? No, 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 no. Help? No, 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 I don't need help. I don't need you sure? Help. Yes, I don't need Go help. Go on, then. Right, so it probably means something, something... Plus 9 equals 47, but we don't know what the number is. So it will probably, most likely, be this number here. I think. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Oh, I did the maths. It's easy, but it makes it hard. It's very... Right, now let's actually... Remind ourselves what this means, shall we? Um, okay. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I get that bubble. Check it. No, it's okay. I just grab it from here. It should be that one. There you go. All right, now, look. Remember... That once we see a letter in a string of numbers... It just means we don't know it. It's called algebra. And it means it's a number. Yes, we know it's a number we don't know. More, more importantly, when we have four next to a y, it means four times y. I was, I was getting to that. And the reason that we don't write the times is simply to be efficient. Okay. Okay, because when you're writing long, long strings of numbers, which is what... You know, serious mathematicians have to do. Yeah. They don't want to spend all their time writing plus and minus and times and all the rest of it. At least they want to cut that down as much as possible. So, simply it means that if the letter is next to the number, there is a time sign between them. And that means that there is something going on between those numbers. Four, four times, times y. So our sum is four times y plus nine equals 57. Let's go to a fresh page. I so think it's four y plus nine equals fifty seven. Well, let's, no, let's just let, let's refrain from guessing. So remember that what an equals sign actually means, because mm -hmm. we just say equals. We don't think about what it means. What does it mean? Equals. If we had to put it in in different language, what would we say? Uh, equals means is means the is the same, same as as right. It means that four four y plus nine is the same as fifty seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, we can also think of this as a balance scale, all right? And that helps us understand why, to solve this equation, we have to, uh, we have, we have to eradicate things, and we have to split bonds. So this is a bond, right? The bond between the 4 and the y, the multiplication sign, that is what we call a bond. And the plus 9 here is a number, and there's nothing particularly going on with it, which means we can eradicate it. We can take it to zero. So how do we take a plus 9 to 0? We just minus 9. Exactly. Well, now, if we take a 9 away here, this is where it's important to remember that the equal sign means is the same as. So for this side to be the same as this nine side, times. we have to take 9 away from both sides. Because so, otherwise, it wouldn't be the same anymore. Yeah. You understand? So if it's a balance scale and a balance scale, if you pull 9 pounds out of mm. it, You've got to pull nine pounds on the other side. What happens if you don't do that? If you pull nine out of this side, you don't on this side, what happens? Well, we, the way will kind of like go like... It kind of goes... Like that, and, and like, everything is broken. I'm stuck on the seesaw. Exactly. Very good. <clears throat> stuck on the seesaw. Nice analogy. What's 57 take away nine? It is 46. 46. I think, I think so. Okay, just try and picture in your head. To get from 57 to 50, how many is it? Hold on. Ah, I know the answer. It's 48. Good. Okay. 48. You've got to try and make the picture. Okay. Try and see it. Yeah, because, you know, I know that you're a little bit tired, but often when we do this kind of sum, the first time around you get it wrong. Right? Yeah. So we just have to just try and put some measures in place that's going to stop that happening. 
So if you're doing 57 takeaway I mean, nine. What the answer is, is 12.